Or hopefully you took time on the previous activity to really understand what was happening. Because the way Code Monkey does things is they will slowly give you less and less help. So you need to be paying attention. All right, so first we set the mover to monkey. Done. Now when they give you a blank screen, we're gonna to wanna to remember that. Now we've got for B and bananas, we're gonna change the mover based on the banana. So if, we're using our if else, if B is green, X equals five. Um, we're not using variables like that, right? We're using mover as our variable. Um, so mover equals, and who are we doing? If it's green, the goat. Else, not x equals 10. Oh, wait a minute. We do have some x because it goes for the stepping. Ignore me. Um, I almost missed that part. Um, so I'm setting two variables. So I need to put that x equals 5 back. Okay, and then the mover equals the goat. Now, else x equals 10, yes, and our mover needs to equal the monkey again. Because green, it's gonna be five steps and it's the goat. Yellow, it's gonna be 10 steps and it's the monkey. Now, that seems really odd because if you think about it, if we were doing this in the very first Code Monkey activity section, we would just say step 10, and then I guess go to step five. But remember, we're learning how to use these more complex sequences of code because coding is usually more complex and you need to be able to handle a lot of things at once. All right, so after we checked if the banana is green or yellow, it should work. So let's take a look. Uh, I could eliminate the line of code where it said, say, mover um, to get my three stars but it's fine to move on if you have two stars. <laughs>